Okay, it's on. All right. Does anyone know? This is Mama Lynn, a.k.a. Mama G. Marex on the side. <laughs> anyway, this is our under our make and do section for kid kid friendly channels, and I thought I'd give some suggestions here. And uh, being that uh, down down the road, people like to throw out their garbage or whatever they throw out. I managed to rescue some books here. Now I have actually done some, and there's about three or four or five books over there that are already been done. So we're at the last two. And I must say it's getting a little difficult because what's happening here, does, first of all, do, does peop, do people know that they can wash a book? Okay, you can wash a book. It's possible. I've done it. I've been doing it. So we're going to show you how to wash a book. But the problem with these books is they've actually had a time to really, really get all dry. So if you pull too much, though, you know, what's going to happen is it's going to uh, rip the pages but in this case, it might be a good idea before you wash the book to, to, to separate the pages because what happens is uh, when it gets wet, the glue on the page can make them stick. But, you know, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm kind of learning the tricks of the trade here. So I'm not going to do this now, but you can see what I'm doing. So before I wash this book, I'm going to try and separate these pages because they will wash better. Now, you're going to probably ask me, what am I going to do with these books? Well, I can do several things with these books. I can wash them and put them away and save them for a rainy day. Or I can take, with, take them with me when I go off and do something with the kids, which I probably will do. So if a page or two gets ripped or scribbled on, I'm not going to be too upset with. Uh, this is a Childcraft. Childcraft 1979, I think. This is a 1979 series. And uh, it's in very... Uh, very, very well made. Very well. Childcraft makes very good books. If you can wash their books, you know they're good books. Okay, so that's that's the first thing. So that's what I'm going to do after. I will separate those, and then we're going to wash those. But in the meantime, I've got one that's been sitting in this thing. I changed the water already, but it's been sitting in this water for what about a week on my counter? <laughs> because what happened was, the first books that I washed. Um, I managed to separate the pages quite nicely, but, you know, life gets busy and you don't always have time to do. Now, you see, like these pictures, for example, even if even if we don't use the book for something else, we can always use cut and paste and we can make a project and the kids can cut these out and they can put them on their picture book or something. But I had to soak it for a good week because what was happening is with this one, if I was to take this one right now and put it in the water, these will not separate. Because I've I tried it. And in the end, I had to soak it for a good week. Okay, but see, if I separate these first before... It's a little musty smelling. That's okay, though. That's just mold, but that will come out. You'll see that will be washed away. We're going to bleach it. We're going to wash a book like you would wash fabric. But before we wash it, we're going to try and separate these pages since they are separating. For the ones that don't separate, then you have to soak it. Okay, but as soon as you soak the paper, see here, if you go gently, you can separate. So anyway, as soon as you start soaking, though, the paper, the longer you soak it, the more fragile it becomes. But in this case, because I let the book thoroughly dry out, and then I threw it in the water, only some of the pages separated. So therefore, I had to leave it for a week to where now I think I can actually separate every page because it's had enough time to go through every page, but the page is very fragile. So now it's going to have to be a little, you know, I have to take a little more time and care in between drying them. But now it separates. So, so see here, you see it's not separating. So even after a week of soaking in the water, it didn't separate. So in that case, I'd take a spray bottle like this, and I'd spray it as I'm blow drying it. But even then, I think this one's going to be more of a picture book because uh, I let it I let it dry, and I didn't know what to do, so I just threw it in the water, and I thought with the water because the first couple that I did, it worked. But the first couple that I found when I first found the books, they were quite damp, so they never had a chance to dry out like this one. So this one I'm going to take apart page by page before I wash it. And in this way, hopefully, we can avoid the tearing of the pages. But this is a great little make and do. So here, I've washed the book. It's bleached.
but I have to sit in a bed in, in a in a in a in a container for like a week. See here. That's where I was trying to do it before. All right. So we're just gonna wash it in there. I've already put a little bit of just dish soap. You know, just to show you here. Okay. And we'll just put. Are you show? Are you videotaping this? Mm-hmm. Okay, you can just go like this. There's only 11 minutes left. Well, we only need a couple more minutes because then we're gonna go into the drying stage. But I'm just showing people that if you can actually wash the books, if you if you think you can wring it out, good luck. You know, you can squeeze it out, right? But before we do that, we have to rinse off the soap. We don't need to bleach it because I've already bleached it. This one will bleach for a little while to try and get rid of some of the mold stains. But for now, okay, this out of all the books that I did, this is the one that has given me the most trouble. But that's okay because once it's all done and washed and dried and then maybe pressed a little bit because I even take an iron to it, you know, it will be fine in the summertime when we go out with the kids and we do some crafts. They can cut up the paint, paint pictures and they can put it in their own picture book under the X Study Club. So there you go. So now we're going to take a towel. Did you bring me one? Yeah, okay, okay, let's just go over to the towel. All right, Mama Lynn's in her pajamas here. <laughs> so anyway, we'll just squeeze it out. Okay. You know, the thing is, who would ever think you could wash a, wash a book? You know, I never washed a book before, but I guess you can. I wouldn't say you could wash every book, but I suppose if you took the time and, you know, didn't rush with it, you probably could because as long as the ink doesn't run, it's fine. So now we're going to, I'm going to end up going over there because I got a little free time. I've been putting together computers. I might even have a computer to give away to one child, so that would be kind of cool if I can get that done. But for now, I need a break. So I'm going to sit my bottom down at the table and I'm going to get my hair dryer out. And then I'm going to start blowing drying one page at a time. Only I'm not going to start that book yet because I, I, I got to take the pages apart. So my daughter will turn off the computer here in a second. It's not a computer, it's the camera. Oh, the, cam the camera, sorry. I'm tired. Okay. okay. You like dough. You know, I'm going to pat it down like some dough, you know. There you go, making pizza. <laughs> All right, so you can see this one got a little more... See, it's ripping, but if you want to read the words, that's okay, though, because we'll let the kids cut this one up. So I'm going to go make a spot over there, and I'm going to start drying it, and uh, my daughter will come back with the camera, and we'll show you the next stage, okay? But when I do He's the dying. other book, when I do the other book, you will see that... Uh, Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I do the other book, I'm new at this, okay? So it takes me time to, you know, think fast, <laughs> all right? When I do the other book, I will rip the pages. I'll separate the pages since they are separating quite nicely. Look at that, rock and minerals. The world is made of rock and stone. Mountains are giant pieces of rock. Look at this. Kids can cut that up and put it in their picture book. Okay, so you can turn it off and we'll go into stage two. <laughs> 